filed a regular village board meeting for August 16th at 6 o'clock. Please join me with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Trustee Barbini? No. I'm sorry. Trustee Howe? Here. Trustee Schlick? Here. Trustee Shaw? Here. Trustee Kuhn? Here. Trustee Barrier? Here. Thank you. First item is a presentation. We're in John Barbini and Mark Kistler. If you would please repeat after me, Dr. Barbini. I, John F. Barbini. I, John F. Barbini. Have been appointed to the position of trustee for the Village of Wakanda. Have been appointed to the position of trustee for the Village of Wakanda. In the county of Lake Aforsett. In the county of Lake Aforsett. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will be faithfully discharged the duties of trustee. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of trustee. For the Village of Wakanda. For the Village of Wakanda. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Guys, I'm not really sure, uh, but uh, we didn't. This is very poor. I'm not used to all these suits. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm at yeah, church or a so funeral or maybe something happy like a wedding. <laughs> Anyways, uh, just last week we were all notified about this development that we have going over at Highland Terrace. Okay, uh, we didn't know a thing about it. 
okay? We, we got like blindsided. Most of the people that live there, I, they either got a letter the day of or the day after or no letter, okay? The, the letter that we got in the mail, the stamp was on the reverse side. Okay, look that up and that's just a way to you know, make this make mail go by slower, okay? So, uh, we, we went back and we looked at past meetings. We should be attending these, but I do not because, you know, I got health conditions, okay? So, I, I don't go, like to spread with the disease and everything around, you know, the pandemic, okay? So, we weren't aware of this. We got blindsided. I, I think we should, as a group, have time to take a look at plans. I don't know if you guys have driven down our subdivision way, but go ahead and take a drive. You're gonna put these buildings, these buildings in between our buildings. Okay. And not, not the, the same quality. So they're not even close to the quality, same. okay? Close. We have Marshall Fields and somebody's trying to put a Kmart building next to mine. They're, they're telling me they're gonna get 375. I paid 250 for my house and it's uh, uh, another six, seven hundred square feet. This is a fantasy, okay? Who, if, if you know, if they would get that price, it would increase my. But it's not going to happen. So, and the <clears> bottom <throat> line is, at this point, since we're running out of time, the process that we know of, we don't know what's going on, unfortunately. And the, when the builder and the land hedge fund guy that you know, were at the meeting, it was a catastrophe. And it was terrible. And it was just, hey, we got to build them cheap because we got to make money. And that's how it was left. Right. And too bad for you guys. So that's what we're trying to protect, our values of our homes, and not have them just do whatever they want, because at this point, there's nothing in writing, there's nothing telling them what we're doing, it's just what a couple guys said, and these were the guys that drew the short straws. That's why it's, it's gonna make the money out. Well, I don't know of any development going up that hasn't had a public hearing. There was no public hearing, and we don't think that that was right. Well, thank you for your comments. I do know that nothing has been approved yet. Um, and it would be, best for you to go to a BZA meeting, building a zoning meeting, when the discussions happen regarding the development. Okay. Um, it's still in the review process, correct? It's still under my review, yes. Yeah, that's not how they made it sound at all. Yeah. No, no, you were at the meeting. You didn't really get up and explain anything to us either, right? Well, maybe you had nothing to say. They said they're building in six weeks. Right. Yeah, they're building in yeah. six, six weeks. weeks, so I don't this see how. This is what we were told. Right. They're going to be breaking the ground really soon. Yeah, we have the same look on our plans too. Let me, I'm Greg Anderson, I'm the Director of Community Development, I'm also the Building Commissioner. So I'm the one that uh, is charged with reviewing the documentation that they'll be submitting in, in five to six weeks. It'll probably take us another three to four weeks beyond that to review the documents to see if they're uh, substantially compliant with the agreements that are in place. There's an existing developer's agreement that we spoke about the other night. I didn't speak, it wasn't the village's meeting, it was their meeting. It was an informal meeting called by them, not by the village. So I didn't have any rights to, to speak or, or could speak at that meeting at that point. It was a meeting between you, the residents, and the developer. Um, but over the next six to eight weeks, we will hopefully be receiving the documentation at that point in time. It becomes a public record, and anybody can come into the office and, and take a look at the documentation at that point in time. Well, if this is any indication of how they handle themselves, we're not too happy about that. Yeah, right. you don't want them to build a house that they can't even mail a letter. I mean, they put it on the back on purpose to delay <coughs> the, the, we all know. Well, the, the, the public meetings and the public hearings, there are no requirements under this development for public hearings or public meetings. Okay. And I just want that, to clear yeah. that up. Um, because all the documentation was done years ago when you put, folks first moved into the uh, right. development. So that's all been done, zoning's in place, plans are in place, engineering's in place, it's all set, it's a ready to go development, but is it substantially compliant with what is in the agreement? I don't know yet until they submit the actual architecture. Th thank you for your comments and your concern. Uh, like Director Anderson <coughs> said, once the documentation's are ready for public viewing, feel free to step by. So we're done? Th yes, we're done. We're done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Six. And I get a motion and a second for approval on the agenda with the correction of Mark Kisselberg's correct spelling. So moved. 
Second. Welcome. Trustee Barbini. Yes. 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 Motion and second to approve consideration of consent agenda by anonymous votes. So moved. <coughs> second. Trustee Barbini. Yes. Trustee Howe. Yes. Trustee Schlitt. Yes. Trustee Shaw. Yes. Trustee Kuhn. Yes. Trustee Carrier. Yes. Starting so clerk, please read consent agenda. Item A, approval of the bills for payment from July 24th, 2021 to August 6th, 2021 in the amount of $518,042.15. B, approval of the minutes of the August 2nd, 2021 regular village board meeting. And again, a motion and a second to approve items A through B on the consent agenda. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Barbini. Yes. Trustee Howe. Yes. Trustee Schleck. Yes. Trustee Shaw. Yes. Trustee Kuhn. Yes. Trustee Ferrier. Yes. Motion carried. Old business. <clears throat> Item A. Approval of the ordinance providing the issuance of 1,885,000 general obligation refunding bonds, series 2021A, provided for the levy of a direct annual tax sufficient to pay the principal of and interest on said bonds and authorizing the sale of said bonds to the winning bidder there, thereof. Director Lyons. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, so as many of you are aware, the village staff has been in the process of refunding two outstanding issuances uh, over the last few months. It was estimated that these two refundings would generate approximately $1 million in savings over the life of those bonds, which is 14 years, 12 to 14 years. Uh, the main purpose of this was uh, basically to secure the debt service savings. Uh, these refundings will be considered in two separate votes. The first one being the approval of the 2021A series bond, which will refund the 2011 series bonds. The sale was completed this morning, as I had outlined in the memo, uh, and with better than expected savings. Uh, Anthony Maselli from Spear Financial is here to comment on the sale this morning, and then we can answer any questions uh, together, and then we'll move on to the next item. Anthony? Yep, great. Thank you, Tom. Uh, as Tom had mentioned, we took bids this morning on the village's 2021A bonds. This was a refunding of the outstanding 2011 bonds. Uh, the preliminary par that we had for bid was $1,885,000. Um, we received a total of 22 bids through an open auction process from five bidders, with the winning bid coming from Bernardi Securities, uh, which is now out of Northfield, of Illinois. Uh, the original winning bid was a 1.426%. Uh, after we received those, those final interest rates, we resized the issue to a, a final par amount now of $1,940,000. Uh, the result of the refunding is total savings of $760,315. Present value is just over $684,000, or over 34%. Uh, just to give you guys a kind of a, put this in perspective, many places choose to move forward with the refunding when present value savings is over three percent. So thirty-four percent savings is phenomenal, and I'm not sure that I've ever reported on thirty-four percent savings. So congratulations on that. Glad you bring it here. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. The, the final uh, true interest cost, the average interest rate on the issue after the resize, was one point four one eight three percent. I have to answer any questions regarding the 2021A bonds. Do you know why we were, we were able to realize such a great outcome? Is it the, the, the village's strength of the, the, the finances, is it it's, the market in general? Yeah, it's quite a few things. Um, it, as part of this process, the village went to the rating agencies. The, the uh, AA2 rating was affirmed, so you're two notches off from uh, uh, the highest investment grade rating that you can achieve. So it's great demand for that. Uh, we're also in a really extraordinary market, um, and the bonds we're refunding had 4% uh, coupon rates. So you're, you're taking 4% coupon rates in a great market, refunding those 1.4% bonds. Great. Excellent. So just to recap on this ordinance that's in front of you right now, uh, this ordinance will approve the issuance, 2021 A series, <coughs> provide for the county to 
generate the necessary levy, which in this case will be abated and paid with water sewer uh, revenues. And then also authorize the sale that Anthony just discussed. And I, staff recommends the approval of the, the ordinance before you. Any further questions? Nope, no, no, no. Can I get a motion and a second to approve item A under all business? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Barbini? Yes. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Schlick? Yes. Trustee Shaw? Yes. Trustee Cohn? Yes. Trustee Ferrier? Yes. Excellent. Motion carried. Item B under all business. Approval of the ordinance providing the issuance of 5,460,000 general obligation funding bonds. Series 2021B providing the levy of a direct annual tax sufficient to pay the principal of, of and interest on set bonds and authorizing the sale of set bonds to the winning bearer thereof. I'm back. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah. <laughs> Same context of the other uh, issuance, really just to secure these debt service savings. Um, the refunding bond issuance in front of you now is for the 2021 B series bonds, which will refund the 2013 bonds. Now, one extra point with this, this one, the property tax levy for this will not be abated, uh, and it will be paid via the property tax levy as the old series was as well. So no change, I just wanted to make that point. Um, like the first bond sale, the savings for this refunding uh, was better than expected. And again, Anthony's going to cover this one as well. And I'll recap all of them. Absolutely. Thanks, Tom. Uh, so again, this was the 2021 D bonds for the refunding of your general obligation bond series 2013. So these are, are unlimited tax geo bonds paid by, a, by an annual property tax. We received 28 bids from five bidders, again, um, on this sale. Uh, with the winning bid again coming from Bernardi Security. So Bernardi was uh, very aggressive this morning and, and wanted to buy the village's bonds. Uh, after the sale, we resized the issue to 5655000 That'll be the final part amount on the new bonds. Savings, uh, total savings, $517,233, 75 cents. Nearly $500,000 in present value savings or just over 8.5% present value savings as a percent of refunded par. 8.5% uh, is, is fantastic. Obviously, in relation to 34%, it sounds a lot different. Uh, I, I will mention that the, the winning bid on this was a 1.09%, so a very low rate, mm -hmm. revised after we resized the issue as 1.088%. Reason savings is slightly lower as compared to the last issue is uh, for a few reasons. The, the original coupon rates on the bonds we were funded were slightly lower. This issue was also slightly shorter in nature than, than the last. So just because of those two aspects, you're just not gonna get as much savings, uh, but still phenomenal savings, and in this case, all taxpayer savings. Any questions on second series? Uh, real quick, uh, the, uh, the debt does not extend beyond the time period of the original bond sale, correct? That's correct. Both refundings were within the original footprint of the, of okay. the original bonds. Yeah. Well, sole purpose of just taking advantage of the interest from markets and right. savings on that. And, and basically, when you put, put them both together, the savings over the 14-year period, present value savings is closer to 1.2 million rather than just under 1 million. So that's, that's great. Great to hear. Um, and staff will recommend this ordinance as well. Excellent. Any further questions? <coughs> Can I get a motion and a second to approve by the other old business? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Barbini? Yes. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Schlick? Yes. Trustee Shaw? Yes. Trustee Kuhn? Yes. Trustee Barron? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you, Tom and Anthony. Great job. Thanks. We expect this going you know, forward. Same results. Every time. 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 On August 3rd, we had our National Night Out event, which was held on May Street with great reviews. I'd like to thank the uh, police fire, all the volunteers that put together the event, and a special thanks to uh, Allie, who, from what I understand, really spearheaded this thing. 
so please let her know. Uh, and with last week's terrible storms, I'd like to thank Public Works for a great job managing all the calls and picking up the debris. You know, they're still doing it, but they really did an outstanding job, so thank you. I uh, look forward to cruise night tomorrow night. The great weather, we may have another record breaking event. And we did receive uh, preliminary results on the census. Our current unofficial count is 14,884. So we're down 41 residents. But that's unofficial. And then I'd like to wish uh, Tom and Linda a happy anniversary. Oh, 18 years. <laughs> oh. That's all I have. Christine Barbini. Uh, well, I'd like to uh, thank you. Mayor Sodi and the trustees for the uh, confidence you have shown in my abilities to serve this village as a trustee. I'm going to do my best to fill the vacancy left by Chuck Black's relocation with the knowledge that no one can truly replace a Chuck Black. He's truly a Wakanda original. Uh, but I will look forward to working with the staff, with all of you and the community as we continue to help Wakanda keep moving forward. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Let's see how. Uh, thank you. Uh, I want to welcome back, uh, well, welcome Mark Kisselberg to the Police Commission first, and uh, also welcome back to the board my friend, John Barbini. I know both of you will benefit the village greatly. Um, thanks to all the hard work put in by our Public Works Department during and after last week's storms. Uh, all the first responders who helped manage the downed tree and wire situations and uh, to comment for getting power restored as quickly as possible. And uh, of course, see everybody at cruise night. Thank you. Christy Schultz. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I want to add my welcome to Dr. Barbini. Uh, obviously, you're bringing a lot of institutional knowledge and board experience to the Village of Wakanda. I think that'll be a tremendous asset. Uh, welcome, Mark Kisselberg, uh, Wakanda, <coughs> you know, Wakanda family, the Kisselberg family. So it'd be great for Mark to get involved. Uh, thank you, Director Lyons. Finance is never the most exciting topic because it can be very confusing, but the savings sound outstanding. And these, uh, these bonds were used for some vital upgrades in our infrastructure, so it's great to see we can save some money in the long run. Uh, just a friendly reminder, District 118 starts this week. It means it's going to be quite busy on Main Street with walkers and cars. Just everybody use more caution uh, being out there walking across the street. And don't speed because our great police department will be out there, and I'm sure they'll be willing to write citations if needed. Um, and last but certainly not least, thank you to Public Works, the Police Department, and the Fire Department for that little barrage of severe weather. It seemed like every 30 minutes we were getting a severe thunderstorm warning. But uh, you guys seem to handle everything professionally and a little bit of griping with some lost power, but part of the course of living in Illinois, so that's what happens. <coughs> but, uh, great job. So, thank you. Let's see Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Well, first of all, happy anniversary to my, my wife, Linda. <laughs> I know I haven't seen her all day. <laughs> um, congratulations to Trustee Barbini and Mark Kisselberg. Um, thank you, Tom. Doing a great job. Um, we have a new Tier 1 CERT training starting Tuesday, September 7th at 7 o'clock. It'll be held at Fire Station Number 1. Uh, you can register on the village website under the services menu at the top of the screen pages. Uh, also, Chuck Lincoln, Mark, and myself went through and paired up roughly two Gaylords of shoes uh, last <laughs> last Sunday for the uh, shoe Swalco, the Swalco shoe recycling program, and we totaled 1,169 shoes. Quite quite fun. I uh, hope to see everyone at cruise night tomorrow. It's going to be a good day for you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, beyond welcoming Dr. Barbini and Mark Kisselberg, I have no further comment. Thank you. Trustee Carrier. As per usual, everything has been said, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but congratulations to uh, Dr. Barbini and Marcus for doing their appointments today. Thank you. Excellent. Can I get a motion and a second to go into executive session for Illinois Compiled Statute 120-2-6-1? So moved. Second. Very good. We will... Uh, Turn into the no action, correct? Oh, yeah, no action. Uh, into the board. Okay. 